<laughs> Look at my lashes. <sighs> oh, no. Hey, you guys. So, yesterday was a very weird day for me. I've had my Instagram account since like 2012. I haven't ever had a problem with like my security or anything. So, um, I don't know. I randomly gained like hella followers. I gained like maybe 6,000 or 7,000 followers in like three weeks. And I was just like blown away. I'm like, oh my God, like my business is really going to take off. Like this is all aligning. I'm launching my hair oil and mm, mm, mm. lost my account. I don't want to necessarily say like I'm upset because shit happens. Everything happens for a reason. God is just stirring the pot for me. You know what I'm saying? He's adding a little, a little dash of dash of spice up in my life, right? And I'm accepting it, open arms. I may question it right now, but in the end, I'll see exactly why this happened. Um, don't know why right now, but um, <laughs> I'm hella, hella, hella thankful for every single person who like has been shouting me out who's been promoting my business because i don't just use instagram just to be cute and all this other stuff no i legitimately use it because that's my business like y'all i am so 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 thankful i just looked at how many people reshared my business i really didn't know what to expect because I feel like with social media, people, they just see you, they like your pictures, but they don't actually support, you know what I'm saying? So to actually see that people are willing to go out of their way, post my page multiple times on their platform and just support me, that's crazy. Y'all, I'm a crybaby. Oh my God. I'm so grateful. It's like, yeah. I have been wanting to like launch my oil for so, so long. I didn't believe in myself to just be forward and <laughs> cut to the chase. I didn't believe in myself. So, oh, thank you guys so, so much. Everybody who shared my post, please check your DMs. I will be giving you guys a coupon code. I literally just made it. So yeah, you guys can use it on your first order if you haven't ordered yet or on your next order if you already ordered. Y'all are fucking amazing. And I am blessed to have people genuinely supporting me. I'm always ugly crying on this bitch. Like what the fuck? Y'all can't be catching me like this. I don't like that. <laughs> it's it's kind of it's been a been a little tough day and night, <laughs> but it's it's all gonna be for the better. And I'm really I'm really not gonna stress it. Today I'm actually gonna go outside. I'm gonna take some time for myself. So I just wanted to take you guys along with me to show you how I actually ground myself in tough times, right, guys. First things first, let me pull up my pants. Y'all can't see my drawers. So I already took my vitamins. Um, I guzzled like 20 um, vitamin D pills. So I know, <laughs> but no, that's not funny. That's really not funny. Don't fucking overdose on pills. Uh, normally when I get in my like really sad modes or depressive, I wouldn't even say depressive states, but I just really am in a bad space mentally and I can't get out. I normally don't eat. Like I will go the entire day and won't touch any food, but I will be hungry. Like I will literally feel my stomach eating my back <laughs> and I will not touch a piece of food. So right now I'm gonna actually eat. I got this vegan cream cheese. It's me Miyoko's. 
it's not the best cream cheese i've had way way better so i have a bagel with cream cheese yeah i bit it mm -hmm. i bit that shit <laughs> and i have a kiwi i would do one of these oranges but they looking a little sus i was gonna stay home and like finish putting the labels on all of my bottles but i don't want to be in the house right now i need to get outside i have to get the sun the sun is out right now um after i finish eating i'm gonna take a shower i'm gonna wash my face and i'm gonna get dressed and go outside and we're gonna have a freaking amazing day y'all are literally amazing like i really i can believe <laughs> like i got orders like <laughs> i got orders i'm so happy oh my god um wow wow look at the views on my site right now you don't get what you want you get what you are a core vibrational match to universe bring me everything bring me everything bring me the universe never gives you what you want it's listening but it will always give you what you need to mm. help you evolve. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Slow motion this side. Mm. Have a beautiful day, Pete Divers. Peace. My life, my life, my life, my life, my life in the sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine. Sunshine. Every, everybody loves the sunshine. Sunshine. Folks get down in the sunshine. I'm getting dressed and like I have this outfit on and oh my gosh. I'm gonna put y'all right down here. I guess that kind of sucks. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna just step back. But I have these like kind of baggy cargo type of pants on, and I have this brown shirt, and I'm also gonna put this on, you know, because it's a little breezy. But isn't this cute? Like if I go like this. Like it gives it a little, a little zhuzh, you feel me? Cause normally I wouldn't wear it and I would just have it like with the, oh, that actually looks really good. No cap. But I like the green. Sorry, I'm looking at the mirror in the living room, but um, the green is so cute too. I don't know. Okay guys, I kind of have a dilemma. I don't know if I should do the wooden hoops to kind of go with all the brown aesthetic that I have going on or the evil eye. Evil eye, you can't really tell that I have it on, but when you do, you're gonna be like, oh wow. Oh yeah, this is nice, I like this. I'm going to wear my eye ring. I don't know, maybe, I like the yellow. <laughs> I like the yellow one. I'm not wearing any silver or anything, and this is like a warm tone. Happy on the asset social. Glory to you over royalty. I never want to buy. Whoop it. Bitch, I'm outside of some movies. Huh. Blue cheese, I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. Uh, I gotta stick to this paper like blue uh, sleep. Bitch, I'm buy my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back, she a groupie. She just swallow all my kids in a two seat. Yeah. 
swagged out. But really, we bringing them gas out. I still got some racks up in the I wanted to get here, you know, before the sunset. Is this a parking? I'm about to park there. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. So this is really nothing new for me. I really spend like a lot of my days outside taking myself on little nature dates. And I just like to spend this time to reflect, to like think about a lot of things. Um, I always find a spot with some good sunlight too. Uh, just because, you know, I like the warmth and I also like to stare at the sun till I go blind. <laughs> but no, I just, I really enjoy like reflecting, reading a book or like listening to a podcast or just journaling. Today I just chose to read because it did get really, really cold once the sun sets. So I was like, chow, ain't nobody got time for that. All right, guys, so I am reading from Power Thoughts Devotional, and I'm reading from today's date. My camera had cut off on me. That's crazy. God would never expect you to be patient if he didn't give you patience. He would never expect you to love if he did not give you love to give away, <laughs> put love in you to give away. But all of this comes in seed form and seeds must be watered in order to grow but i'm not really religious or anything i'm more spiritual i'm gonna eat my food mango it's looking nice and juicy mm. oh my gosh y'all this is so good it got like even more juicy it's a little cold Okay, I'm lying. It's a lot cold because the sun is gone. Y'all, moments like these really make me appreciate like just my solitude and kind of being invisible from the world for a little bit. Um, not having my Instagram has been kind of peaceful. I kind of like not having a bunch of people I don't know looking into my life. Because once my Instagram kind of blew up, I had like 3 million people watching my reels and like so many people DMing me. It was getting kind of overwhelming and I felt like this just was something I couldn't handle. I love to have like intimate connections with people, but like when it's too many energies all at once, I get a little anxious. I don't know, I guess this is just a new journey that I'm entering, a new headspace. Um, honestly, I'm kind of ready for it. I love change. I, I really embrace change. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh my god wow wow that tastes so good hey guys it's the next day um i have a few errands that i need to run I'm going to hit the dollar store and I'm going to hit up Target. So for the Dollar Tree, I'm going to look for some crinkle paper because I'm actually going to try to like finish packaging my products um, for the orders that I received. 
it is Saturday. I'm not sure if the post office is open on Sundays for like mail drop offs. I'm going to double check if they aren't open on Sunday. All packages will be shipped on Monday. <laughs> it feels really good to say like, oh my God, packages are being shipped. I have to go to Target to get a kitchen scale or something just to, um, you know, weigh the the item before or weigh the package so I can put it on a label and stuff like that. You that. I spend my day watching a sports game for four hours. I spend my day just lazing around with the family. I spend my day just sitting there aimlessly in front of a TV show, right? Like if any of those what we value or what we want to do in our spare time is what we value. They represent the crown chakra, but they're kind of not what I wanted. I wanted to go for like gold. Hmm. I didn't find anything that, um, I didn't find any of the shredded paper color that I liked. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Target and see if I can find some like gold shredded paper. Cause that's not gold, either gold or black. I'm really not sure, but I know I for sure, I for sure don't want like, like brown. Cause the envelopes that I have, like the padded envelopes, um, they're gold. So like purple shredded paper in there, I don't know. I'm thinking black. So we're gonna check out Target and I'll catch you guys there. We have arrived to Tarjay. Yeah, I'm really trying to find like where the hell would shredded paper be? Right now, I'm in like the office supplies. They might not have it, y'all. So, excuse me. Hmm. This sucks. Oh, they do have it. But look at the color that they have it. And this is $3. $3. And it is not the color that I need. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm trying to like fix my shoe. <laughs> so, another thing that I like to do when I get in these like down moods is to make sure I have a to do list because, in those times where like you're down, you're not gonna want to do anything. You're literally like not gonna wanna do a thing. You're gonna wanna lay in bed and not get shit done. So what I do is create a to-do list on my notes. You're able to do like these bullet points where you can actually check off like what you've accomplished. It definitely helps you feel like you're doing something and you're accomplishing something. And that sends, you know, signals to the brain that you're happy. Make sure to eat, okay? When you eat, you increase your energy. You increase, and with that energy, you can be more productive. So right now, I'm warming up the pasta that I made yesterday because my stomach is eating my back because I didn't eat breakfast. And then I'm also warming up um, a vegan beef patty, golden crust, you know, you know? Um, so this is supposed to be microwave, but I don't I don't touch the microwave at all. So um I have the oven on and I'm just gonna wrap this in some foil. It takes way longer in the damn oven, but that's why I'm warming this up so I don't have to, you know, be hungry. But y'all, 
I'm so proud of myself because I walked out of Target with one thing. One thing and the one thing that I came for. Um, I did see this jacket. It was very, very cute. That's all like three jackets that I actually wanted to get out of there. But I don't know. I was just like, let's not do that. Let's focus on things that we really need. I ended up going back to get the dollar store um, shredded paper. I got the brown and I also got purple. So I am going to actually make some content of me packaging my orders just so I can have some things set for Instagram. If you are a business owner, always having content readily available um, is a good way to promote yourself. You don't ever want to do something and not be able to show that you're doing it or people. I feel like when you show like on your story or like on a post that you're packaging orders or that you're creating something, it builds that like that authenticity that like, okay, this person's actually doing it. Like for the people who don't know you or for the people who just followed you, they may be a little skeptical to buy. So to show that you are actually doing it, I 100% recommend you record, you know, reels or any videos, take pictures. So I'm gonna move everything over there because the sunlight is just beaming and I love having natural light like videos and photos. So I'm just gonna move everything over there. out this vlog um i'm finishing up with my thank you notes and i'm gonna send them off to staples and pick them up tomorrow but i just want to say thank you to every single one of you all who support me um social media is my business um so I appreciate everybody who interacts with me. Like, I truly love talking to y'all. The people who are respectful. Some of y'all be, yeah. But I don't even be rude to y'all either. Um, just know that if we had a conversation, any interaction, it's all genuine. It's all from the heart. And I truly appreciate everybody who watches my videos. Um, if you didn't know... Now you know to follow my new Instagram account at the Real Coley 2.0. Um, hopefully I get my account back, but if I don't, um, that's where you guys can find me. And yeah, join the motherfucking party. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day, night, evening, wherever you are. You know, whatever time zone you're in. Um, yeah, have a great freaking time. Uh, yeah, bye. I'm in the hall, Regina.